Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And this video is pretty much just going to confirm AJ Brown golden ticket. It's going to happen, guys. Um, and yeah, before we go ahead and talk about what the plan is, there really is no plan at this point. We do need your guys' help. But before we go ahead and talk about AJ Brown, um, down below, there's a link to my Twitter. I need you guys to go on my Twitter, go to Tweets and Replies, and I need you guys to go ahead and like, you know, tweet at Xerxes. I, 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 what am I, I, I tweeted at Xerxes CC Gut Fox and Scombo. That tweet is in, in on my Twitter. I need you guys to go to my Twitter, go to Tweets and Replies. Again, I'm not active on my Twitter that much. I kind of created it just for this reason to kind of try and reach out to those guys to help me with my golden, uh, to, with our golden ticket, AJ Brown. And um, so I need you guys to go like, retweet, and you know comment on it. Kind of give it some traction. That way they might can see it because I we, we we do need a little bit of help right now with you know some of the attribute boost and some of the um, uh, the attribute boost and, and the archetype uh, ability slots and stuff like that. So we do need a little bit of help, and I would like a bigger YouTuber to help me with that just because they know a lot more about what the community likes than I do. Uh, again, you know, I really want to base this around a Titan Sling team, um, but you can really do that and also make the community happy with this golden ticket. So that's what we are trying to do here uh, with this golden ticket. Uh, so yeah, AJ Brown golden ticket. I need you guys to go and like that, retweet, whatever you need to do. Try and give it some traction for the, some of those guys to reach out to me. Now, I was on stream watching Gut Fox, and I actually did whisper him, and he replied. So this is what he told me uh, archetype-wise um, was best. But, you know, we'll, we'll go over here. We'll start here first. Uh, we'll start with attributes, uh, or we'll start with archetype. I, I'm just going to mention this. Um, for Actually, let's just go over, the, let's, let's go over the, the attributes here first. So I want to go ahead and talk about the one that we pretty much guaranteed that's going to be deep route running. So deep route running is going to be boosted 100%. Uh, so yeah, the reasoning behind that is Titan Slim teams. We have Randy Moss, we have AJ Brown, and we have uh, well, we will have Golden Ticket AJ Brown, and we also have obviously Andre Johnson. We will have Tyrone Calico whenever he gets an upgrade. He is going to be phenomenal. Um, and then Drew Bennett is really kind of an okay card. He's not the fastest, so probably won't see the field once Calico gets an upgrade, once AJ Brown gets his golden ticket, and once you know, and we also have Andre Johnson out there too. So we really have five really good potential wide receivers right now. So we got Randy, AJ, Andre, Drew Bennett, and, and Calico. So that's five wide receivers deep. So that's really really nice there. Um, but yeah. The reason we're doing deep route running is because Randy Moss and Calico already have very good deep route running. Uh, and we want to go ahead and boost up the deep route running on this AJ because when Randy Moss, either he gets a golden ticket or whenever he gets his ultimate legend, he's going to have pretty much 99 deep route running on his card. Very, very good route, deep route running on his card. Uh, I believe it's going to be 99 for sure stock. Uh, and then also Calico has 91 deep route running on his 91 overall card. Uh, or maybe 92 deep route running on his 92 powered up. Uh, so yeah, really good deep route running on those guys. So what we're trying to do here is is think about what the future holds for the Titan Steam team. We're thinking about transitioning to play fake. Uh, and so play fake would boost the short and a medium. That's why this makes sense. Uh, so we boost the deep on AJ. Randy's going to have pretty much stock 99 deep route running whenever he gets a gold 99 ultimate legend. And we boost his short and medium with play fake. And we boost AJ short medium and play fake. That's two receivers right there. You've got all 99 route running stats there. So that's kind of the reasoning behind the deep route running and why we're boosting that. Um, and then also Calico, really good deep route running on him. Who knows? He could get a a, a 99 overall, or you know, I think he, he it would be more like a power up expansion card for him. And maybe he gets up to 99 deep route running in with play fake and stuff like that. It will help out a short and medium too. So that's kind of the plan, uh, the reasoning behind the deep route running there. So yeah, that's why we're doing deep route running. And again, really that works for any theme team or any team in general. Because if you get the deep route running stock 99, you can just run play fake. And, you know, play fake gets short and medium up plus four. And obviously when this dude goes up to a 99, he's easy, easily going to get both these sets above 95. So pretty much guaranteed short, medium, and deep all going to be 99 on this car. That's why we're doing that. So 
other art, other attributes to boost. We have no idea, really. We kind of looked at stiff arm first. We were like, nah, stiff arms, you know, okay right now. So I really wouldn't. Want, we really didn't want to waste it on that. Um, spin move. Mm, and no, no, not really. Juke move. I mean, you could go with some of these. It's just difficult, guys. That's why we're asking for your input, and that's why we're asking you guys to go help me out on my tweet. Try and give us some traction so we can get one of those bigger YouTubers uh, to go ahead and help um, us out. Uh, you know, attribute boost and stuff like that. We do want him to be very good after the catch, so that's why we're thinking about going something like, you know, stiff arm spin move, juke move, carrying. That's why we're looking at that stuff. Break tackle might also be a guarantee, but we, we're going to hold off just yet. I think if we get 99 break tackle on AJ Brown, you guys realize how insane of a card that would be? So, really, deep route running is guaranteed. Break tackle, leaning toward that a little bit, and then really... Um, Y'all let me know down below two abilities or two other uh, two other attributes to boost because we really do need help on that. But hopefully I can get in touch with a guy uh, and he can let me know what he thinks to boost. But I did get in touch with a guy. His name's Gut Fox. You guys probably know him. Uh, I was in his stream and I whispered him, uh, asked what abilities uh, or what archetypes for a golden ticket wide receiver would be best. Uh, he let he told me his first. Right off the bat was two for route running, two for slot. Uh, oh, excuse me, two for route running, two for go deep or deep threat, uh, and then one for slot. Um, not a bad combination there. Um, and then he also said maybe if the if you want to go maybe look towards more of a community type golden ticket, he said you could go two route running and. Um, well, he didn't say that. I, you know, he was like, maybe if you want to go a more of a variety of uh, abilities for archetype abilities, you could go two route runner and then one of everything else. So deep threat, physical slot. There are five archetypes for receivers. One's returner, which is pretty crap. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do returner. Uh, but route runner, deep threat, physical, and slot. Let me know down below a combination of those that would be pretty nice on this AJ Brown. I'm thinking about you. You gotta go at least two route runner guys. You gotta go at least two route runner. Um, I don't know about three route runner, but at least two. You gotta have at least two route runner, uh, route running archetype slots on this guy. Deep threat physical slot. That's the issue we're, we're running into right now. We really don't know what mixture of abilities, or excuse me, what mixture of yeah, archetype abilities we could go on the last three slots. Uh, it could go. We could go one each with deep threat physical slot. One of them. Uh, you know, one deep threat, one physical, one slot. We could go two deep threat, one physical. We could go two deep threat, uh, one slot, two physical, deep threat. You know, you could do really anything. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're really looking at right now. Um, and here's some abilities we can go over. Uh, some glitchy abilities right now, you know, somewhat glitchy, some somewhat not glitchy, you know. Kind of go over, you know, some of the better ability or archetypes in the game that you could use on some. So, here you go, you know, right running, one AP on this. So, uh, on, on, I know one of these are glitchy. I can't remember mid in elite, mid out elite, something like that. I know I don't really run abilities on my receiver, so that's why I kind of need help with this. Um, route running on this too is very cheap, so route running is very very important in my opinion. I think you have a, have to have at least two ability slots for for route running, um, and also route tech is the very important ability on your wide receivers. Now the best ability is obviously going to be route running now slot also gets to set two um so i mean but obviously route running is the way to go um and also after the catch type stuff maybe you want to go wide receiver apprentice but there's no reason to if you got a, a, a hot route master quarterback you're going to get additional hot routes if you have a hot route master quarterback uh but again route running again one ap blows all those out the water um so yeah um and then also Grab and go. I don't know if that's any good. Uh, it's kind of like joystick, but you got to throw it to him first. Uh, so that's exactly what it is. Uh, but still, everything's two AP there. So really, if you wanted to throw that on any, you know, on any slot, you could uh, for two AP. Matchup nightmare. This is the one thing I was thinking about. If I don't know on a, you know, matchup nightmare on a six foot receiver, you know, AJ Brown's gonna be more of a guy where you throw it on a slant drag. Uh, wide receiver screen. I don't know anybody that runs wide receiver screens, but you know, a guy that's going to be good after the catch. So that's kind of what we're focusing on here. Um, but for the physical here, matchup nightmare. Don't know if you're going to want to run this on a six foot receiver, but you know, if you do run matchup nightmare, now physical is, is one AP and everyone else is, everything else is two. 
So people can make the argument for physical here. I understand that. But six foot wide receiver, mm, you know, I don't know about that. Uh, but again, that's why I'm asking for you guys is help. So, uh, yeah, more stuff we could look at. Um, can't get bruiser on a wide receiver. You can't get evasive. Let's check out evasive. I don't know if we'd end up running or if I would end up running evasive on my team for a wide receiver. Yeah, considering it's 4 AP, uh, but route running is the cheapest two there. So route running, once again, wins there. Um, arm bar is – I think arm – can arm bar – can you get a receiver with – okay, yeah, you can. So a physical. So – okay, so you have to have 95 plus stiff arm. And AJ on this card has 85 stiff arm which is definitely not going to get up to 95 unless we ended up boosting it, which I don't think we are. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's probably a no-go there. Uh, but Returner, like I said, we're, we're not going to put Returner on A.J. Brown. I, at least I don't think so. That that just wouldn't be smart in my opinion. Um, Bulldozer, I don't think – I think it's only Returner, right? Yeah, Returner. And then he's there's no way he's getting to 90 trucking, so that's out the window. Um Reach for is that any good on a receiver? I have no idea. Um, 1 AP for pretty much everything except returner. Um, jukebox, another pretty good one here. Jukebox, that was that, like 2 AP for route running. So, and you're going to have to have 95 juke, which I think AJ will get there. Yeah, AJ will definitely get to 95 juke. So, uh, that's not really what we have to worry about there. So, yeah. We should get juke uh, uh, if you want to run jukebox on them. That's also good. But joystick, 10 AP is a lot of AP, guys. Um, return, 95 agility. 95 agility. Plus 4 on a plus 5. He should get to 95 agility, guys. So you will be able to rock um, with the deep threat archetype. Okay. So deep threat might. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely have a deep threat, at least one deep threat. So at least two. Route runner, at least one deep threat. Not just the, not just because of human joystick, but there's a lot of other deep threat stuff like the deep in elite, deep out elite. People run that. That's that's deep too, uh, deep route running there. So that would help out there. I don't know if you know if anybody runs deep in elite, but um, route running also gets one AP there. So, um, but if you wanted to have some fun, I'll, I'll end up pro we'll probably end up doing a, a, a deep route runner archetype on them. At least one, at least two route running. So, yeah. Physical and slot are the really two questionable ones. Deep threat's a pretty good one. Route runner's a very good one. Uh, physical and slot is going to be the big question. Uh, which one are we going to leave out? Which one, you know, maybe we go one deep threat, one physical, one slot. Maybe we go two deep threat, two route runner, one physical, two deep, uh, two deep threat, two route runner, one slot. Something like that. Um, but yeah, y'all got to let me know down below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for all these abilities. Um, red zone threat. I don't know if anybody that runs this, maybe on a tight end, uh, but one AP physical deep threat. So there's deep threat once again. Um, if you run at red zone threat, I don't know of anybody that does. Um, maybe another question you guys were asking for the physical. What about what about uh, honorary lineman? Now honorary lineman isn't on there. I don't think I didn't find it before I started. Uh, I'll double check here. So I don't see that at all on this. Um, yeah, it's not going to be. Yeah, it's not going to be on here. So, not sure why. It's definitely not going to be under quarterback. But honorary lineman, you have to have 65 impact blocking, and he only has 52 here, which means we would probably have to boost the impact blocking to get honorary lineman. Which is, I just, we just don't think that's worth it. Uh, so yeah, AJ Brown really up in the air right now. What we should run? We do want to try and turn this in pretty soon. That way, maybe it. See, it doesn't guarantee us that he releases is one of the first releases if we turn it in if we turn in the forms early or not. Uh, but you know, why not turn him in early? And maybe have a chance at, at maybe him getting a you know a, a you know golden ticket one of the first couple drops. So that would be pretty nice. And especially, I think AJ definitely deserves a higher overall than a 94 right now. And a lot of Titans fans and a lot of Titans theme teamers out there unfortunately don't have this because you actually had to win like 40 house rules games to obtain this guy and I'm, that, that was tough for me personally that was pretty tough to do but AJ Brown uh, I think will be a phenomenal golden ticket guys let me know down below what you guys think about AJ Brown let me know some ability combinations let me know some of the attribute of uh, boosts you guys would want um, but yeah we're leaning toward break tackle uh, but guaranteed deep route running y'all let me know too attribute boosts we could do on other uh, two other um 
two other uh, uh, stats here, two other attributes we should boost, and then also let me know a combination of archetypes uh, that we could use for the ability slots. So yeah, with that being said, great news, great news, guys. Um, we have nine days to do this. Uh, like I said, we do want to turn it in pretty soon. Maybe that guarantees us a spot early on. Um, and with AJ only having 94, maybe they want to go ahead and be generous and give him this 99 soon because I definitely I definitely think that he deserves higher than a 94 right now. So, yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.